I am Senior Counsel at Royal Bank of Canada, and I work on a team of people that manages litigation risk and strategy for their banking operations across Canada. Um, I think I always knew that I wanted to be a litigator. I love the art of the legal argument. For me, um, the big decision was, do I become an in-house counsel or not? And uh, I wanted to do that because I felt that it would give me an area where I could become an expert and get a really deep understanding of a specific aspect of the law. At the bank, it's very collaborative in the law group. Um, we get lots of different opportunities to work together. As a litigator, beyond litigation, I get the opportunity to work on product development or policy development. Um, but in addition to that, I also work quite closely with our external counsel on the litigation files. So for example, there's matters where I'm going to be able to assist them with working on their verbal argument for court cases or their written argument um, and those type of issues that they have to face. The practice of law is very rewarding to me. Um, there's opportunities where you get involved in big cases and so you're able to shape the direction of law um, or to shape the direction of your company. So that's very rewarding in and of itself but those are you know few and far between. I actually find the day-to-day -day very rewarding as well. Um, I, I like to be challenged and I have uh, insatiable curiosity. And so I find that being able to work in litigation um, and working closely with all of my colleagues and the external counsel, it's able to meet that dual need that I have. And so that's very rewarding. I think a particular challenge um, in the practice of law, and I don't think it's specific just to law, I think it's businesses generally, is the uh, increased pace of business nowadays. People want legal advice faster. Um, and it's hard because you also have a lot of volume that you have to deal with. So for me, how I've addressed that situation is I try to be as efficient as possible. And what that means is I process map everything that I do. I will develop templates so that I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, and then I try and get work off my desk that's more appropriate for somebody else to be handling just because it's much more efficient that way. And if you can save two minutes, it makes your answer that much faster. Pro bono has always been a really big part of my life and my career. Um, I think recently the most significant pro bono initiative from my end has been sitting on the United Way's law cabinet. Um, and as a member on the cabinet, I get to work with various law firms across the city to encourage their Gen Nexters to get engaged in United Way efforts and, and to give of their time and their money and their skill set, what other resources they have, uh, to give back to their communities. And I find that uh, a very rewarding type of experience for me because pro bono is very important. I feel that lawyers have a very privileged role in today's society, but with that comes responsibility as well. And so I like to be able to go out and encourage other lawyers to be able to give back to their societies and their communities that gave them this opportunity. I think the quality that I have that the bank finds very useful is I can take a lot of information and complex information and distill it down to one or two key pivotal points um, and be able to present that back to either the business or to my legal colleagues um, with the lens of what it is that they're looking for. And I think that that quick analysis and being able to hone in on the uh, important relevant facts is a great advantage to my company and to my practice as a lawyer.